sure we'll, we'll get to the pressing news of Jalen Phillips and that shortly, but just a quick thing with regard to Odell. It was nice. He was a full participant. If you had practiced fully according to the injury report, does that suggest that, will, that he will be ready to play Sunday for you if he has no setback the next couple of days? You know, the um, it, it's one one day that we saw him in a walkthrough setting. Um, tomorrow will be his first uh, uh, full speed action, and we'll assess from from there. You know, want to make sure people are ready when they're on the, uh, when they go out on the football field. Um, but he's been working very hard, not just to um, practice. So uh, we'll, we'll see what tomorrow has in store. And on Jalen, just uh, how crushing is this? And and for a young man, obviously, is like him to have to go through this two two years in a row. It's it's pretty depressing, huh? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's not exciting at all. Um, it's, uh, yeah, you, especially when you watch someone work uh, so hard to, to earn every rep, you know? Um, yeah, it, it's tough. And, you know, I think... Um, uh, but J Jalen uh, is, as he as he has continually impressed me um, since I've gotten to know him, he he recognizes that you know this is a you know in a contact sport, this is a contact injury, and he he doesn't know the whys necessarily currently, but he's um, knows that he. Uh, is not going to be worse, but going to be better for all those all those things. So, I was very impressed with, um, you know, you you don't try to forecast or uh, how anyone's going to react to that. Um, understanding that there has to be a multitude of emotions, but um, he's he's uh, he's very positive um, and already uh, working the process, and you know the. As football goes, um, you have to you, you have to prepare um, you know numerous people to fill a role like that, and um, I know the guys uh, have a lot of motivation um, to accept that challenge because it's a great one. You guys have had it seems like a year's worth of adversity in a month. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you not let this snowball be able to get back to what this team was supposed to be? Well, it's a lot of people um, that have the appropriate intent, um, a lot of relationships that you have to, um, you really get to see, uh, you know, if if things are what you think they are. And, um, you know, it it's the ultimate test of, um, you know, a lot of things that you, uh, you, you say that you believe and, um, you know, it does one of two things, you know. It, it splinters people or it brings them together. Um, there's, there's been, um, fortunately or unfortunately, you know, this is not the first time, in in uh, anybody that's been in the NFL long enough, um, that you don't start the the way that you want to, um, and then you have things that you can't control, um, that, you know, there's there's. Um, distractions are plenty in this in this league, and um, you know all sorts all sorts of different things that can get you worried about the wrong stuff. Um, and you don't have anywhere to hide when um, you're you're losing. Like you, so that that's that's the the tonality of it. Um, the I don't hear much of uh, I don't know calculations of the bad things that have happened. I think guys um, are very, very intentionally um, trying to fix um, things that that uh, aren't up to our standard. So, you know, you don't have time um, in, the, in this league. Nobody, everybody has their own stuff going on. Nobody cares about the trials and tribulations are the things that you have to overcome. Uh, the, the, the whole crux of it is whether it's early in the season or it's late in the season, you're, 
you will have adversity. And sometimes it comes in bunches, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but you get to find out, you know, guys get to, um, you know, see, see how, uh, you know, truly what I believe in. Um, I get to see how they, how they respond to it. And ultimately, you, you, you hope and you believe um, that, that you've invested in the right people. And, you know, I think um, the only way to prove that is daily attack of things that are uncomfortable and whatever we weather, um, whatever comes, you know, in our, in our crosshairs, you, ju you just have to um, problem solve because everybody's got their own problems and uh, we're, we're focused on um, trying to s solve the New England Patriots problem um, that's, that we're trying to win a football game, you know? Was the specifics of, of that injury? And we just know from what he posted that it requires surgery and will be out for a year. Yeah, so it it's I guess what you could categorize as um, it was a contact injury, um, something that happened uh, in the game. He went back in um, based upon uh, uh, the fact that he did no more further damage. They braced it up. Um, and the adrenaline of the game, he was all right. There was, um, but it was, you know, you worry um, about uh, injuries um, just in general, but, you know, particularly in guys that, that are coming back. And, um, but contact injuries are uh, um, unfortunately kind of the, the roll of the dice that kind of live outside any, um, you know, he was just, it, it's really a shame because he was, you know, you, you spend so much time um, getting yourself in a position to practice. And then that practice time is so minimized, um, you know, due to the fact that when you're healthy enough to practice, you know, he, he's started in this league for a while. So, but, it, but you're getting going, you know, he's, he's a phenomenal player. So he's still able to um, impact the, the game in a great way, but I just know he was starting to get in a rhythm. Um, but that, you know, there's contact injuries that, um, you know, is a, a freak one at that because, you know, it was probably the first time that I've uh, had friend, friendly fire, as they, they say, um, Poyer and, and him um, uh, having, I can't remember what quarter it was, but um, they they both got injured on, on the on the play aggressively trying to take down the ball carrier. So um, it's a uh, he he it it was a partial that the medical experts um, needed to go fix. And beyond that, I'll I'll leave that to Jalen to speak on more. But proud of uh, proud of him and how he's handling it and how he's um, focused on. Uh, the right things because he's, you know, circumstance could trick you into, to, you know, being pretty in a pretty dark spot, but he's, he's uh, focused and um, hoping that the, you know, I just know that he's, he's of the right mindset to, to come back with this and use it f to his full advantage um, as, as rough as it is right now. I'm not a doctor. I have no idea if, if this correlates, but it looks like it was the same leg as his Achilles tear. Mm -hmm. It sounds like this was, though, just a result of contact, not necessarily a byproduct of yeah. that leg. No, for sure. The, the medical experts wouldn't have cleared him if it, if it wasn't. But the um, specifically a contact injury, you know, that the only way you could avoid a contact injury is – if you know so like um that 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 to me um you know i i had there there's just, when when our doctors um clear people to play they don't they don't take that um lightly so i'm always um very confident and you know i think that um it, anytime that you have a contact injury that those are kind of unrelated um more often than not. Is it possible that by returning to play, 
that he may have compounded the injury without even, obviously he never intended to do so, but is that possible? No, uh, again, the, it's the contact part. Like, yeah, I guess because he came back, he did have contact. But that that you, you're always, you know, just understanding a uh, rudimentary understanding of the body or your, your, that's why you have to be so deliberate and intentional with, you know, not talking timelines and things like that, because all of those things are built to, to, you know, cause that's, that's non-negotiable to, to bring somebody back, um, and cause, you know, so, you know, I think, I, I've learned, I, I've trusted early with just the way they've, handled all, all the players and um, continue to earn my trust and uh, um, so I, I don't think that was a factor at, at all just just because it if it was fl you know if we had like if it turned to flag football that that would be um, that's the only way to avoid it it was it was a contact injury you know contributions from several players now mm -hmm. can you speak to your faith in uh, the rest of them? Edge rusher group, including a couple rookies in Sean Robinson and Mo Kamara. You know, I, I, they uh, they get to you know collectively put forth um, a lot of work that they're absolutely positively uh, you know prepared for, for. You know, the situation as it presented itself, um, there was a tremendous amount of gained reps to learn from and grow through. Um, you know, in in training camp and. You know the the key thing is is that you, you you're not trying to um, you know be Jalen Phillips uh, and just one person um, be that you know I think a, as we understand each other as a defense and and how we utilize personnel you you ad, uh, adapt and strengthen numbers um, it's a collective um, step up and you know it's kind of um, it's kind of directly in relation to what the whole team is um, trying to do right now. Um, you know, with the, you know, just in the nature of, uh, you know, what the, what the team is working through right now. So um, it, it's not one person necessarily, but I am confident uh, in the collective because um, they've given me reason to be confident by their daily output. Question about repercussions uh, around here. Tyreek had the ball that was a lateral. He didn't go after that aggressively. Um, Julian Hill has had a lot of penalties. Anthony Walker has had a few on special teams. Without going into stuff that should stay within closed doors, do you guys talk to these players? I, I don't think they run sprints or anything, but what, do you show them video? How, how, what is the corrective action there? So um, the corrective action it's uh, when you're negatively affecting the team. Um, my recourse is I, I think it's it's my duty as the head coach, um, you know, for every every player and coach in, involved in in the thing to to literally hit it straight between the eyes and talk about it in a team um, meeting. And you know, it, most teams guys, you know, they they want to be part of the solution, not the problem. And so that, you know, but at the same time, we're all accountable, um, including in, you know, first, first and foremost myself for like, yeah, that's, that's, that's not good football. So um, you, you can't go backwards before a play starts. Um, you can't um, turn the ball over. Uh, we have, you know, turn, we have an uh, entire team meeting devoted to um, uh, you know, turnovers on a, on a w weekly basis we, and, and the ownership of the ball um, and taking the ball away. So these, these are things that, you know, in a competitive situation, you have, uh, you know, you can have scars or you can have lessons. And, um, you know, I think uh, th the accountability and the, and the um, you know, the, like, the accountability that Tyreek Hill is exhibiting um, to his team, um, you know, he didn't he didn't try to shy away from that. He he uh, and you know I think the whole team um, learned something that you know I, I thought or you you don't you think you know until it happens and then you're like okay well 
Um, so if it's going to happen once, uh, let's use that as, you know, he can, he can be the, uh, the teacher and let's not have anybody else, um, you know, uh, not learn from that mistake. Uh, it's a, it's a, you're, you're trying to grow your team. Um, sometimes there's, uh, you know, and, and when the football isn't up to standard, you don't make it rosy. You just tell it exactly like it is. That's, that's what's owed to the whole team. And, um, when you're doing things to, to hurt the team, um, that, uh, you know, they should be held accountable. Regarding the offense, I know you guys see a lot of seven-man fronts, a lot of two deep safeties. Is it as simple as just running the ball and getting them to bring a safety down? I know that they do things mm -hmm. to discourage the yeah. run with up front, but it, is it that simple? No, you're, you're, you're trying to crack codes every week. The, the, the opponents get paid, too. Um, and, you know, they've um, collectively, with their coach and their executions or game plans, they've, you know, They've done a better job than we have. You know, there's always adjustments. This is the, that is that is football. Um, I'd like I'd like them to happen um, immediately. Uh, and you know, I, I am not used to um, you know having having uh, the lack of offensive production that you know the uh, team the players on the team and the the fans the just everybody's not used to. Um, so you, you, you try to problem solve and, and that, that is, um, a steadily evolving process. That's not just, um, schematics and it's not just players, you know, that you, you, you find success when everyone is connected and, um, the right solutions are being presented and the right things are being executed. So that, that, cl um, you know, there's nowhere to hide and it's um not fun when you're when you're not achieving so you can the great news is you have opportunities um to to come together as a, as a football team and focus on absolutely positively the only things that matter um when all in, in situations like these um you if you want anything to change that's the only thing that you can do um, and so you want to see people go above and beyond um, in w what their job responsibilities are and, and not be complacent because the second you're complacent with whoever you are, if it's not me, uh, it's you, you know, and, and that's the way we're, we've kind of approached it. So, um, you know, day by day, rep by rep, um, the it, there's no path of least resistance um, if you want to uh, change the result. Are there maybe one or two teaching points you need to emphasize to Tyler Huntley in order for him to run this offense as effectively as he needs to in the second year starting? Yeah, I think um, you know uh, I would hate I would hate to to think that the, the best um, the best execution of the the offense in its entirety would be um, your your first week running the offense. You know, I think that it's it's having a standard and not getting defeated as you continue continue to learn and and get the finer details. I think um, he's a professional, and he you know I there was a lot of there was a lot of things that were very impressive when when you put into context um, the, the timeline, um, the, the language, and, you know, how, how he's able to do um, things that, you know, our guys are used to, um, our guys, uh, you know, and then there's a lot of room for growth and um, as well as, you know, getting to learn him, not just from, uh, you know, soundless tape, you know, that getting to, um, coach him on something and then see how that hits his ear and see what he does with that coaching, um, patternizing some of the stuff he's comfortable with. Um, all of those things that you do, um, but you can't, you know, there's no, um, there's no uh, 
substitute for for time in this business when you're working at the position. So, you know, the, the absolutely positively did he learn a ton, um, and was this walk through um, today or the, was the the team orchestrated stuff uh, um, today absolutely um, better than last week? Yes, it was, and. I think, um, you know, he's sinking his teeth into trying to um, not just do but have ownership. And, you know, I, I think um, all the guys feel they need to do a better job around him. And he feels like he needs to do a better job. I feel like I need to do a better job. Um, and uh, I don't see another formula for, uh, for a better product than everyone trying to do um, their jobs better. Uh, we've asked you a, a Patriots question yet this week. Oh. No, no. Okay, well, well, we we need like some some sort of siren. This is the first opponent question that I will answer in three weeks, my friend. I, I feel honored. Um, just your biggest concern playing a team like the New England Patriots on the road. Uh, it, it's absolutely positively. It, it it's a like a, a team that you're going to have to earn uh, the victory and. And they they play, um, you know, a really cool style of ball that that is um, physical and and something that I think, um, you know, it you're gonna have to, to go on the road and earn the win. You're gonna have to earn the win. Um, and and right now, um, you know, the I, I wouldn't want it any other way. I think it's a division um, opponent that you know we know each other well. Um, and they're, they're, I, I, I see the on tape, um, growth in, uh, you know, the, the game that they're and and the players in offense. And, and I see, um, the fundamentals and technique, um, that, that consistently across the board that, that have made them, uh, a very good defense for a long time. And there's, uh, there's guys playing hard, very physical, um, across the board and, they are. They will. They will compete, and you'll get their best. So, uh, you know, I, I think it's a, it's a good opportunity for us, um, because uh, the only way you're, you're getting it, there, there's going to be no gifts. Um, there's a, there's the only gift I'll be giving, or the only gift in my household is for my daughter, who's four years old today. By the way, shout out Ayla. Thank you for her. Um, <laughs> but the, the, she's, she's excited about it as well. She, she wants to see dad's team compete and earn a win. Um, so uh, we, have to, we have a lot, a lot of work to do in the meantime, but um, it's uh, definitely going to be a challenge. It'll be fun.